how to separate electrical loads in solar installation system. Okay, so uh, welcome to this video. And if you have not watched your other electrical videos, do where to go back and watch those videos because that is your foundation in this system I'm going to talk about now. So uh, this video I'm going to see. So you agree with me that many solar installers or electricians who venture into solar installation did not know how to do load separation. They end up either burning the house or causing disaster in the place. But at the end, they'll be having issues of some things are not working, some things are working. So in order for you to avoid those kind of errors and mistakes, do where to learn and to study this video, watch this video from beginning to end, then you know how to separate the load when you get to the feed as a solar installer or as a, techni a technician or electrician. So now, this is a three-phase DB. This is the DB I'm going to use for explanation. This is a three-phase DB, right? So I've said before that in a three-phase DB, we have what? We have the red face. We have what? We have the yellow face. We have the blue face. There is a link here that we use as a neutral, neutral link, right? There's another link here we use as what? Our earth link, right? So this is our earth. And in case you don't know, you see this wire in a DP? Know that this is what? An earth wire, right? So without wasting time, we are going to look into how wires are being run, right? Inside the DB and how they are connected to the breaker. But first thing first is that you have to know how to use your multimeter to find out the particular line you want to separate for solar and for NEPA. So in case you don't know, this is a multimeter. It's very important. Now, how to use a multimeter to check or to test for the lines that you want to separate for what? Your, uh, your uh, system in your DB. So now, the first thing you will do is to earn a multimeter. This is a digital multimeter. Then the second thing is, after owning the multimeter, then place it on what? Continuity. You can turn it to, this point you are seeing now is a continuity. Telling you that if you touch the two probe, this is my probe. Then you touch the two probe now, it will make sound. So this is the, uh, you can see, this is a continuity. So I'm telling you that this multimeter is working. This one, this one, uh, another thing to know if this multimeter is working or not. So this one, this we have another thing here. We have what we have resistance measure for ohms. We have what the DC voltage. We have AC voltage. This is hertz measure in frequency. We have uh, AC. Uh, we have AC amps. We have DC amps. We have for capacitor. We have every. We have many things on this multimeter. But what concerns us is we are going to use continuity to check. For this, our what, our what, our DB, which line we are going to use for our solar and which line we're going to use for NEPA. So, in uh, the first thing you need to know is that when you come, let's work on our DB. This is our DB. So, in this DB, we can see that we make use of what the black, right? Then we make use of what the green, which is the earth, make use of the red. So, these are the three. What the three cable you found inside the DB. Now, if you look at this place very well, you see that this is a neutral supply. So this link is used for our neutral. This link is for neutral. Then you can see this one is used for X. And the the we have for X cable, you can either use this green or what? You can either use a yellow for X as color coding. The red is to be connected to this point. This our red cable connected to this point of what of the changeable at this point. You lose this screw, you connect it, you connect it here. You lose this, you lose it, you lose this screw, then you connect it here. So this is how you connect it to this plate. Then another thing is how to uh, know the number of the fuse ratings, or let's say the star blocks, or people call it star blocks, or people call it breaker, the ratings to use in this system. Now it is it is important for you to know that heavy load. We use, when I say load, every load we use a higher breaker rating or star plus rating. Like we have a uh, breaker rating here, we have, we have. So uh, we have uh, 30 amps, 25 amps, 20 amps, then we also have 50 amps, 10 amps, and also 5 amps. So these are the ratings that we have and we can use in uh, to power our load.
different load system. So you can see there. So let's remove the breaker one after the other. You can see this. This one is actually 25 amps. You can see the breaker. You can see this one can use to also power a uh, light. You can also use to uh, power AC. You can also use also to power water heater and all of that. As a 25 amps breaker, it can carry to an extent. And even uh, another breaker, which is uh, a 30 amps, can also be used to power AC water heater because it's a a, a breaker rating is actually higher ratings among other ones. So these are multimeter and we also test. So let's test for the lines because the three lines we have, we have the the red phase, which is L1, we have L2, we have L3. And the same things apply to so, uh, the red phase, the yellow phase, and the blue phase. The same things are the same lines. So the same this terminal we also have the con in connected inter uh, connected inside the DB to supply all the star blocks or the uh, breaker uh, in that place. So I'm going to test now so that we know the lines that are connected to either blue fish, yellow fish, or red fish. Because this this DB is uh, D6, which is 18 breakers, and each of the line contains what? Each of the line contains uh, six, six breakers, and three of them make the three lines make it up to. 18 breakers so we'll test it i will see we'll test for continuity to know the lines that are connected because we have six dbs we have three at one and three at the other side that are connected to each line so this is how to test for your continuity to know the breaker that are connected to each of the lines so this is how it is then you put place a multimeter continuity and you begin to test. Place it on one uh, terminal and check for the breaker, right? So you can actually off it and on it. That is the main breaker. So you place it on one line. Then you begin to test the breaker one after the other to know which particular one is connected to that line. So this is how to check. And in case you want to test for your uh, the line, and you want to separate on on the solar system so this is how to do it so when we get it we mark it let's use our red marker to mark it so we'll test for another one remember in both side of the breaker we're going to get three in one side then three in another side so we'll test it again and we'll mark it this that is the second breaker on the first face then we'll test again then we'll know that the last one is the third what the last one will be what will be the uh the third uh breaker on the last phase so once you do it like this you mark it marking it means you are indicating it so that you will know that you have two phase left and the same this that will mark on this side is the same thing on the other side at the same line so you just go ahead and mark it on the other side right to see that yes is the same thing before we now go ahead and text for the uh other the other line which is the other phase Light, right, which is the we are test for the red face now. We are testing for the yellow face, so we test for it. We know to know the breaker that connected to it. So we let's use blue marker. We are marked the first one, then the second one. You can see the second one, then the third one. Yes, this is it. So the same thing once we are done, we mark the other side because they are the same line. Any breaker that is connected to that line on one side trace it on the same line, it will be the same breaker, opposite each other. Then we now know, let's use black breaker, we now know that the remaining uh, breakers or the star blocks remaining are for the last phase, which is the yellow phase. Because the breaker is what? The full system three phase DB is what? Red phase, yellow phase, and blue phase. So these are to text for them. So, and in case you now want to separate load on inside the inverter, maybe you saw solar system, I want to separate load on the system. This is what you actually do to know the line that will be the face you'll be using for the system. Then you can separate from separate one face for solar. I use the other two for what NEPA. So that whenever NEPA comes up, this is what we happening on one face. Whenever uh, solar comes up, only those are connected to one face and to those breakers. 
will be working. So this is how the system works, and this is how to test it before you do connection. So when it comes up, or when you install solar system and you come to a DB like this, and the steady phase, even if it is looped, then you know that yes, you will you will you will remove any load that is connected to those breaker. Then this phase I'm testing at this terminal, you can use it one for what isolate any load that's connected to breaker to that line, isolate it and leave it open and join and connect any load that was connected to it to other breaker and leave it alone and use your solar to connect your solar on that one line. Then these other two lines, which is the red phase and the yellow phase, will be used for either NEPA or GEN purpose. So that whenever solar comes up, any all the breaker that are on the yellow phase, on the blue phase, which is the last phase, will be working. So this is how to do load separation on what in inverter. Use that two for what for NEPA. The last one will be isolated for what? For solar purpose. And mind you, your neutral, you trace the neutral to those loads. The neutral will also be singled out, disconnected from the neutral link, and what will be will be connected together. Use your neutral AC outputs from the inverter to feed those neutrals. So this is how the system works. So this is how to connect the system in uh, such a way that you want to separate load. Use your multimeter to check and therefore get everything correctly to see that yes, the system is well connected and that neutral link and the earth link, you separate everything ideally and accordingly before you can uh, be, before you can know that you have done what low separation without altering anything and everything in the house will work because you have done everything correctly on the DB. So this is how to separate it. Use your multimeter to figure it out so that you will not stress yourself in this aspect. So this is exactly how to go about it, right? So I believe by uh, by this explanation, we, we know now how to separate, do load separation on inverter system. When you install solar in a beauty that your solar system cannot carry everything, but you want the, the solar to carry some of the things when the solar is on and when there is never everything in the house will work because we know already know how our solar system work at the inverter system, the principle of operation of inverter system. So now assimilating it into, into the DP and the changeover is what you need to do. And once you once you do it and do it perfectly, you will have a good result without any issues from either the solar system or from the NEPA. And all the load, all the devices in the house will work accordingly. And how you design the system, everything works perfectly. So uh, thank you very much to watching this video to this ending. Right? Okay, see you in the next video. Remember to subscribe to this channel so that you can learn more as we upload more videos. Remember to share to other people to learn freely. Then remember to comment. And one important thing is that tell me what you want to learn in, in regard to CCTV camera, solar solution, and electrical. Tell me the next video I should do for you. Anything you want to learn, drop it on the comment section and I will record that video and drop it here so that you and other people that want to learn it can learn it for free of charge. See you in the next video.